Hi everyone, it's Shane Weller from The Flow Guys here. I just thought I'd put together a quick uh, video tutorial about Asana. Asana is a project management system that has had a recent uh, user interface upgrade and it's an exceptional application to base your whole business on for your task management and project management needs. It's great for solopreneurs and small teams of businesses that work together in a collaborative fashion, have clients that need to have tasks allocated or approvals given, um, need to have an understanding of when tasks are going to happen in a timeline, and um, indeed the costs and uh, time required to deliver projects. It's a collaborative tool that removes a requirement to uh, use email, and uh, it just works. It's one of the best applications for this type of work that I've found. Now, what you'll see in the screen when you first log in, how do you actually get into it? Well, generally, if you're not the person who starts the account, um, you will be invited into Asana uh, via email, and you simply click on the email and create an account and log in. And the person that sent you the email should have invited you to the right workspace. And so just a bit on workspaces, the app itself allows multiple workspaces uh, and that um, generally I use a workspace for a, uh, a client and um, invite the uh, stakeholders into that, demo, in, into that workspace um, per, per project, per uh, client if you like. Each client allows to have multiple, multiple each workspace allows multiple projects to be um, delivered and for privacy of particular uh, projects or open to everyone to see. Just a note on privacy, uh, collaboration and privacy often don't go together in terms of the whole idea of open collaboration is not to have privacy. But indeed I understand that some projects have got um, sensitivities that you don't wish to have open to other people uh, in the team. And you can do that easily with, with uh, Asana by either creating a private project or creating a, uh, uh, a workspace specifically for the team that has to work on that project. Now, over on the left-hand side here, you'll see that uh, we have a number of uh, menu options. And up the top, we have um, three menu items up here. Basically, when you work in Asana on a day-to-day -day basis, you'll find that um, there's a small notification that comes up along my inbox which shows you all the activities that's occurred since your uh, last logged into Asana. And click on uh, that menu item and in this stream, well, I'll show you later, uh, all the tasks that have had some updates and which you can either then archive or action. Uh, this list over here, my tasks, will show all the tasks that are allocated to you in any order that you like. So you can place them in uh, an order that is relevant to you, or you can use the uh, default view that comes up. You'll notice that there's a calendar both over here and uh, both in the My Task view. That calendar shows all the tasks that are relevant uh, by date. So if you've got tasks that need to be done by Friday, all the end dates will show up, all the tasks will show up on the Friday. Files menu gives you an overview of all the files that have been attached to tasks inside Asana, uh, inside that workspace, and they'll show up there in a, in a, in a list that you can quick reference and um, action. Uh, files. Files shows you all the files or all the attachments that have been made to uh, tasks inside Asana and just provides a list of those files so that you can quick reference those files um, at a later date. Over on the right hand side, we come to a uh, big pun on the left hand side, team conversations. And conversations aren't, it's not a chat, it's not a replacement for chat, it's more like a post with comments. So I can do a post that, um, uh, that makes an announcement, everyone, And uh, whoever is in that workspace will see this uh, post. 
and they'll be able to comment on that post as well. Boom, it's a comment on a post and when you next log in your inbox and will uh, show a note that you have um, need to catch up on a conversation that's occurring. Team calendar, as I said, um, a time-based view of all the tasks. Now to create a project, um, you would have probably normally been invited to a project, but if you wish to create your own uh, project, you can do so. You just whack in a name, uh, whack in a short description. Now this is where you choose for it to be either private or otherwise, uh, and I've chosen to make this an open collaborative uh, project that um, everyone in the workspace can view. Now, uh, a first item is to uh, design the project. So it's a whole body of work uh, project design, and I'll get onto that a bit uh, in later videos. But uh, here we can use either Kanban, Scrum, SDLC, Software Development Lifecycle, um, Prince 2 if you really have to. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is that the sun is not method dependent, so you can use any method you like. You can lay it out in any way you like, have milestones, have uh, groups of work, uh, you can have subtasks tasks, and unlimited amount of subtasks. So it's a very flexible tool in that regard. Uh, and so I'll just give a demonstration now of a light um, project with a, with a, a a, a setup, a preparation phase, uh, a um, doing phase, and a um, closing phase. Uh, likewise, I can do uh, iteration one, if I can spell correctly, iteration one, iteration two, you, you, you get the point. If you put colon at the end of the uh, task header, that's what makes it a section. And you can put um, uh, a task here and just keep chabbing, just keep hitting return to uh, enter a new uh, task. Um, you, you get the idea. And to move the tasks into different sections, it's just drag and drop. So you know in Kanban and, and Scrum we often look at the value chain as being from left to right. In uh, Asana all it is, is is vertical instead of horizontal. So when you think about Kanban you've got the to do, doing, done. You can do exactly the same thing um, here as well. So I can change that to my uh, section to say to do, doing, done. And, uh, and and putting my tasks here. And then once I've done the task, uh, or I'm doing the task, I can move it into doing. Uh, but when I'm done, you can uh, click on complete over on the right-hand side, or you can click, up, click complete here. I've made my coffee, uh, so that's now gone. But if I want to view completed tasks as well, I can, uh, Continue. I can allow the view to have a completed task in it. By clicking on all tasks, and you'll see that it's a done task. So I'll put it in a done. Now some people choose to have, they're doing Kanban or Scrum, choose to have uh, a backlog of work that they need to do. And they'll have the backlog on the bottom, as opposed to having it on the top and feeding it. So when new work comes in, um, you can place it in the backlog, and the backlog of work will be on the bottom. So you, the top of the, the top of the screen is all about um, how you've designed uh, the project uh, to flow the work through. Now, if I delete these as uh, demos and shift delete, tab delete, sorry, tab delete, tab delete. Now, there's a whole range of uh, shortcuts that you can follow uh, on this keyboard to work the app uh, or you can just use your mouse to click around, it's either or. Uh, it's quite intuitive either way. Uh, you get the hang of it really, really, really quickly. So I've got my to-do, doing done. <clears throat> Put a colon in the end of it to make the section break. And there we go, so I've got my project 
uh, outlined and I've, I'm going to have one I'm just going to do some tasks task one task two task three I'm actually doing one task because we only do one thing at a time because I limit work in progress so task four is one I'm doing and I've done made the coffee and I've got nothing in backlog so if I complete task one two and three the project will be done now uh, the demo project I can star if you like and place a star on it that will show it up on the top left so for quick reference if I'm just working in that now if we look at the anatomy of a task if it's got I can assign it to a person and at the moment I've only got me in here so I'll assign it to me I can give it a due date I've got to complete that by the 26th but I can also give it a time I can commit it I guess to complete it by 9 a.m. on the 26th if uh, you've got others in the project uh, this um, heart this or love this uh, task is quite handy because you can see you can use it to say I've read it uh, just the same as you'd like a post in Facebook over to the right is the uh, subtasks and you'll note that this is a, a subtask uh, and we'll name it if I've got task uh, a comment that I need to make or a descriptor of the task I place it in there you notice too that there's a very quick reference um, due date for a subtask and I can allocate it to me and then I can add uh, some notes you note that it's exactly the same as a task so a subtask can have a sub subtask uh, so on and so forth you can attach attachments to a subtask or a sub subtask the next one is um, time tracking at the moment I've got uh, I use harvest to track time and um, the different uh, projects that I have available to me are there harvest is free for a single person and quantity of projects I uh, seem to recall um, however it's it's very handy and allows you to uh, push out a um, an invoice afterwards and of course you can uh, add tags uh, you can change the uh, task to become a project you can merge tasks you can print it and um, you can also uh, create a copy so for example if you've got a template for a project that you want it reuse and use again you just need to uh, make a copy of it so there we have it there's uh, a rundown and task if you if you receive uh, an email from an Asana job uh, someone would have written down here uh, for example I've got a, a, a comment on a task that I would like to make um, uh, when I press uh, comment it adds a comment to the task but also sends an email to the people who are following the task uh, should you have other team members here it allows them to just reply by email now uh, notifications if you're getting an inordinate amount of emails from Asana and you're in Asana all the time so you don't need to get those emails simply go into your uh, profile click on to email and choose uh, what you don't want to see go into the right I've got a lot of workspaces so you go into the demo workspace and unclick reminders unclick activity unclick dashboards um, and then just click out of that screen and you'll note that the emails won't uh, get sent to your email address you have a, every time you log into Asana uh, you'll get them in your inbox anyway now one good thing about Asana is that there's a very good solid mobile apps for both the Sun, um, Android and iPhone and it also allows you to participate in workplace uh, meetings etc work projects comments uh, on the go so that's one of the great uh, advantages of Asana now once you've been um, asked to join a, a project and you've been sent an email that says oh um, can you comment on this or I need these details or what shall I do about this so you've been allocated tasks you participate by uh, simply clicking on your inbox and answering any emails that come up uh, any comments that come up uh, this is the uh, basically the, the wall if you like, like Facebook parlance the wall of Asana and you'll see all the activity that has been taken place by other members in the Asana workspace uh, you can then choose on the right hand side here there will be a little uh, X you then archive it so once you've read it and everything comes through so you read it all 
So you know what's going on, and situational awareness in a project is really important. Then you just archive. If you wish to create your own task, you click, simply click on the plus button, create a task or a new conversation. If you wish to answer, ask a question, That's not working, I must have dropped. Start a new task, click on the plus button, and simply write in the task. Whatever project you've got going, you know, demo, it'll come up. Maybe, maybe a due date. And uh, create that task, and that'll show up in the project. And it'll it'll ask you down here, bottom left, uh, if you want to see that task. There's my new task there. Uh, and all my tasks will be in the my task view, so I can work from there as well. And if we have added a date, we should see the task come up in the calendar. So there we go. There's a task there, um, and and you can also push this calendar out to your uh, Google Calendar or out to your mobile device as well. Anyway, uh, there we have Asana. Uh, I'll do a quick video on how to push it out to Instagram so that you can get a Gantt view of the project as well. Uh, that'll be next. If you'd like to jump on a Facebook and join my closed group, Unscrew Your Technology, uh, please do so. And we share tips and conversations and we learn a lot in there. It's um, All conversation is uh, helping each other out so it's mutually beneficial and uh, like um, the flow guys and also follow my uh, YouTube channel the flow guys too that'll be fantastic any comments you like just comment below um, next time next uh, video will be how to use Instagram thanks very much see ya bye